Good afternoon. It is Top 5 Wednesday. I probably should have done the film this yesterday, but I just, but I was filming my gush about Akamath. So I think, and I totally forgot today was Wednesday. And because of this week's topic, I'm just going to do this, make a, make a video for, instead of um, doing a video and, my, and putting it on my blog. Okay, so this week's topic is... It's related to the SFF Awards, where you um, pick the best covers, cover art. So it's top five cover arts on um, sci-fi and fantasy fiction. Top five Wednesday was created by Ginger Reed Zlaney, and is currently being hosted on um, by Sam from Hoth from Thoughts on Tomes, and I will post the link on this video to in the description to the Goodreads group. Alright, and this is in no particular order. I never really think about the order. I just, the first one that pops into my head usually is number one, and then whichever, as I list them, whichever one pops in my head first. Okay, so, um, actually, in correction, this will be the ones that I, how I have it stacked. Because I have the books here st stacked beside me, so it will depend on that. Which one comes first and which one comes last. Okay, so, the top, okay, number one I picked is The Night Circus, which I have not read in a while. I'm going to do my second, my second reread of this, my second read of this book. So, I'm all, I've only read it once, but... I just, I love this cover. I know, and of course, I've seen the other, the new covers, and it's still, you know, the same coloring and the image of the circus and all that, but I think, I don't think it has this on it. I think it's extra page for the cover. Um, but it's still the same thing. It just doesn't, I don't think all the editions have this extra page. But this, I, this is so beautiful. It's... It's very elegant, and it has, like, I, I mean, and anytime I see a historical, you know, on a book, I just, I just love it. I fall, I'm like, you, you have the two main characters, and it's just their silhouettes, and, um, and like I said, you have this extra, in some books, like the Grisha Trilogy editions that I have, have these extra coverings, and it's very glossy, and... And the good news is I do not have, I don't, I think this is stronger stuff, so I won't, you won't get those lines when I open it to read it. And it's, I love the, I love the black, black and white. I love that coloring. I love that on clothes. I love that on book covers. And then in, you have this little circle right here in the middle where you see the little, you see the circus tent. And then you move this flap, and you have the image of the circus, which is this black and white. It's so, like I said, I'm obsessed with black and white. I just love that coloring. I love, and that color combination. And you have all these, um, quote, all these, not quotes, but, um, um, I can't remember what, what the term is, but where, you know, like, the newspapers and stuff, and, you know, leave, say, you know, leave, um, I can't remember what it's called, like, little blurbs, like, Enchantingly Perfect by Newsday, Nothing Short of a Wild Ride from Elle Magazine, Original and Surprising, the Denver Post, Exquisite, Time on, Time, Time Out New York, Thrilling and Transporting, The Economist, Instantly Intoxicating, Rachel, Sim, NPR. And you have a little bit, the only like, other coloring you have besides the um, the black and white is you have a little bit of red right here on these swirls. I think you have red, you have red here, like red on the circle. You have red here, like in these around the, the word the. And there's, I just realized there's, this, um, what at first I thought was like a path to the circus is actually a hand, which is really cool. You have a hand holding this, and I think I'm right there. Sorry, I'm really bad at this holding 
things up. See? There's, it's a hand holding the circus tent. And then on the hand, there's this really these little gray swirly designs right here. Um, if you can, I don't think you can see it as clearly. Uh, no, oh, wait, there it is, where my thumb is. And these, I think those are flower, like gray, dark gray flowers. It's, just, it's really beautiful and sim like, not easy, not like simple, but not, it's like sim, it's like not too, to all over the place. It's still simple, but not super simple, if that makes any sense. But I just find, I just think this, and I love, like I said, I love the black and white and a little bit of red for a splash of color. I think this is a really pretty, and I don't know if, actually I don't think about, I don't know if you would consider this fantasy or not. I guess you would because it has magic in it. Um, or, well, let me get into illusionist magic. So maybe this one won't count, but you know, I'll just keep it on here anyway because it's too late. Um, okay, the next one is the Grisha Trilogy. I think all three of those covers are beautifully done, and I love the, the print style of the words. Um, and I decided to, because this is the one I started reading... Although I'm kind of focused on another book right now, so I don't. I'm more interested in the other series I'm reading. Um, I like the the way the words, the letters are. Oh, and this is cool. This is a a dragon or a lizard or something or a worm. That's another type of dragon that's actually in the Throne of Glass. I think that's what they call the dragons. Um. And it has the, the the palace, the little, I don't know if this is the little palace that, I guess it would be because it's about the Grisha, so maybe this is the little palace where Alina was. Um, and it's silver, and like I said, it also does the same thing where it's an extra, here's the cover, and then there's some extra pages with, like, again, blurbs from magazines and newspapers and stuff. Um... And I love the silver, and I believe, and each cover is actually a different, like a different color. Each the, the lettering on each book is like a different color. This one is silver. Um, I can't think about the top of my head what color the other ones are. But this is like again very it's beautiful and only words. I mean, mostly with the exception of the palace. And I just think this one is really beautiful, just like the Night Circus. I mean, all the covers that I've chosen I think are beautiful and really cool. Um, and then, and like, okay. Then you have Assassin's Blade, which is a fantasy. Although this, I don't, I don't imagine this first book has as much fantasy magic in it, I just realized. But, um, I really love this cover. I love, I love that cloak. I always wanted a cloak like that. Like, we have a Ren festival in our, um, in where I used to live. And I wanted, I've always wanted a cloak, but I imagine they're not cheap even there. But I love the, I love these color, I love, like, I love the Throne of Glass covers. They are so awesome. And, um, you know, like I said, I love the cloak and the designs on the on the cloak are so pretty and I love this coloring of it and this blue around it. I haven't started this is just I have not started this book. It's this is just happens to be the receipt they put the receipt there when I purchased it the other day. Um and I love how she's and she looks so awesome and scary and intimidating. Like she's not someone I would want to meet in Dark Alley and She's, she's, and I, I want her hair. I love her hair in all the covers of each book. Um, and then, you know, what's cool is on the back, she's in a dress. She's, you see her in a dress, which I thought was really cool. Like she's dressed like, you know, ready to fight a warrior, an assassin on the front cut on the front. And then in the back, she's always wearing a dress. Because Selena is the type of person who loves 
dress. She still loves dressing up and reading books. She's still very feminine and girly, but at the same time, she can kick ass. And I think this is so, like, and I love, I love the dresses that she wears. I am so jealous of them. And like this is, I'm sure she's gonna wear this dress at some point in the, in some point in one of the stories. This one happens to be the novella, the like a prequel for the Throne of Glass series. And I always like these pages. I mean, this has nothing to do with the cover art, but I always like these pages because they're just, they're so thick and stronger, made of stronger material. And okay, my dog is bugging me, so I gotta let him open the door. Because my dogs, either one of them wants to go out, one of them wants to come in. So, I was right. It was both. One of them wants to come in, and one of them wants to go out. I just, my dogs just drive me crazy. I love them, but they drive me crazy. Okay, so, yes, but, um, so, but I, I like these. Even though it's not about the cover art, I like the pages, how thick and strong they are. Like those, I mean, although, part of me is a little, like, because I like looking at older books, I like how they look old-fashioned books like I don't know why I mean I'm glad my room is not like this but part of me a small part of me kind of wanted an old-fashioned looking room like looking like some like rich guy's private you know office or whatever but then I mean that's why I, I started buying those or wanting I I bought I've only bought some like one or two of them but those Barnes Noble hardback books that look their their covers look like an old-fashioned like a long time ago style but anyway and I, I love those covers but but of course this is not about that but um but this I love this cover okay now the next one this one this is a library book which is not due until the end of this week like next the end of next week I think like May 9th so luckily I can still include it on the list and show it to you Although I'm sure, although I kind of agree, the um, the UK version edition is a little bit better. I like the coloring, the gold coloring of the UK, but this is the only one I have, and I have no access to the UK, and I can't. I still have to figure out how to you get pictures via my Mac. I mean, I'm starting to figure it out, like emailing it to myself or like put posting on Facebook, and then like um, and then eventually um, and then like downloading it to my photos so but this is the only one I have at the moment which like I said it's a library book so it will be due back next week um but this is really cool I like the writing I think the writing is really beautiful I like I'm a big I love handwriting writing I love saying that I can't do that although I thought about practicing learning how to write cursive and stuff. I mean, I sign my name in cursive every time I sign my name because, you know, when you ever sign a formal document, you have to sign your name in cursive, I think. So, I can do that, but it's not great. Although, there, I get so excited whenever I sign my name and it's a, like a really cool looking, like really, it looks good. Like, the J looks really good. I get super excited about that because I feel so proud of myself. But anyway, back to this. So, I like, and I like this, this gold, the this blue star. I think that's cool. Um, and the red, it, like, it shows, it, like, it kind of shows, like, the magic of Caraval and what this book is about. And then you actually, on the back, you have the ticket. You have the ticket that Scarlet and um, Donatella get to receive. That ticket that says, you know, admit one, um, I'm gonna get I promise I will get better at this and remembering to keep the book up when I make these videos and I'm showing you guys something. I will get better. But you know, they have the ticket the admit one ticket and you can't you have to get there right on right on the exact time or you won't get in, all that kind of stuff. They have that ticket with the you know, and it's all the fancy swirlings on it and they have like 
Like, this reminds me of fireworks a little bit. Like a cartoon, like a, like a little bit like fireworks. And this is a very simple cover. I like that it's simple, you know, it just has, like, the word, the title, and then the words, and when, and the whole thing that they keep telling Scarlet, and all the take, they tell people on the take and stuff, remember, it's only a game, it's not real, and don't get too caught up in it. It's just, it's really, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's simple, but it still has a wow factor to it. It still has a whimsicalness to it. And that's the same, that's a good word to describe the Knights or Discover. Very whimsical. I don't know why I didn't think about that word before. And then the last book, like I said, these are in no particular order, just how I stacked them. Because, like, bigger books, bottom. Big hardback books are on the bottom. Is the throne, the, a court of Miss I mean, a court, the Aka series, a court of series, the fairy court series, a court of thorns and roses series. I know that's technically what it's called, but like I said, I find it kind of, like I said, I don't like how people just take the first title. And that's the name of the first, the title of the first book, and that's the name of the series. But, um, it's, I find it kind of weird, though, that this book is a little bit smaller, because a lot of times the last book is so even bigger than the first book. You know, it even has more chapters and more pages and whatnot, but it's, it's smaller, actually. The second book was the biggest book. Um, of course, I haven't seen the hardback version of A Court of Thorns and Roses, so I only have the paperback of that one because normally I just get the paperbacks because they're cheaper but I was you know I was like you know what I don't want to wait I want to get it so <laughs> for both both a court of Mist and Fury and this one I just went ahead and got the hardback and I'm not gonna wait because I have to read it and especially since a court of Mist and Fury ended on a major cliffhanger <laughs> you know I just couldn't wait but I love the color of this. I love the. I always love the color green. I mean, partly because my birthstone is an emerald. Um, as you can see, this one I did start because I couldn't wait. See. Um. I I like the printing of the titles on these books, you know, and I and like Selena this in this one, you know, of course it's on the cover that she is wearing the dress so it gives you kind of an image but her face is cut off so you don't exactly see what she looks like in the face and that's the biggest thing you know that makes that defines you know all the um but you see her in some kind of costume and you have all these swirls you know there's all these weird designs on her and she's this cool awesome blade in her hand and she has this cool tattoo Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people who can actually draw this. I mean, I might have to draw eyes, like the eyes of each character, like she does in According to Mr. Fury on that door, above that door. Um, but that's it. Um, there's not much on the back, but there is a, like a little face. I'm guessing this is Freya's face. Freya's face right there. I don't know, but um, with her, I guess it is with her crown and stuff. Her tiara. Um, and that dress is awesome. I love that dress. I would love to wear that dress. That is such a cool dress that she wears. And that blade, of course, I would have to learn how to sword fight, and I don't know how to do that. Luckily, Freya had, was taught by Cassie how to fight, and she's gonna surprise Tanley and kick his ass, not just meant, not just in a way that in in you know in her games of verbal, you know, not just verbally, but physically, she is going to kick his ass. And like I said, what's great about this edition, like I said, it's an exclusive edition, the edition that just came out. So, like I showed in the other video, this edition has awesome pictures of the characters. Um, I don't know if any of the other editions had pictures of the characters. Maybe they did, and someone can show me if they did. Um, this is so cool. Um, this one, I, yeah, I, I don't know, I, maybe just her hair that I don't like, but I don't know, I mean, I like it, and it's cool, but Freya's, look, and here, I'm not, I like her hair better on the outside, on the cover and the back of the book, or on the cover, um, I like her hair better. Okay, so, this one, I know, you know, 
Dang it. Okay, my cover is being weird. Oh, you know what I should have picked? Granted, it's, you know, I should have picked the other book the other series out the duology outside of the Grisha world like the a duology from the Grisha verse the six of crows duology because that I love that cover I that's because the printing of that has the, the pages in the different colors it has the the first book the color the pages are black which is so cool and then on the other one, the pages are red. I don't have Crooked Kingdom yet, but it's on my birthday list. Yes, I still make birthday list. But, um... Yeah, I like this. And I would have put Lunar Chronicles on there, because that's another cover, series covers I like. But I no longer have those. I gave those to my friend Larissa. And I've said this before, that I believe that is a good home for them. I do have Fairest. Um... I do still have Ferris, but I'm gonna when if and when she comes at the end of the month, maybe in the beginning of June, then oh sure. But I like how simple those particular covers are, which is nice. I like I like those. So those are my top five favorite sci-fi fantasy covers. Unfortunately, I don't read a lot of sci-fi. I mean, the Lunar Chronicles is probably closest to sci-fi I get. Well, maybe you know Outlander because it involves time travel, but it's more time you know it's time travel but with science fiction involved. Um, or, I mean, with historical fiction involved. So, I don't consider that a complete sci-fi, you know. It has a sci-fi element in it, but I don't consider that a fantasy or sci-fi. That's historical fiction to me. But, anyway, so that was my top five, and I will share the link in the description once I post this video. Alright.